Monica, all yours. Is noontime noon or is it... He's the Secretary General. It's not spokesman's <laughs> noontime. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you, Steph. I will have to uh, say hello, goodbye to Steph and to his guests from the Texas State University who are in the back with us here today. They are students. Uh, they are studying, actually, communications and uh, public relations. And uh, I hear it's the first time to the United Nations. So welcome to all of you. Welcome. Thank you very much for uh, being here. I will start with a recap for uh, some of you. Uh, as requested, uh, the president is leaving this afternoon uh, to, uh, for Pakistan and Oman. She uh, we will start uh, an official trip to both countries, first Pakistan and then afterwards Oman. She's traveling at the invitation of the government of Pakistan and to uh, Islamabad from 18 to 22nd of January. The PGA uh, will meet the country's president, His Excellency Arif Alvi, and the prime minister, His Excellency Imran Khan, the foreign minister, His Excellency Shah Mahmoud Quresh, as well as representatives of the UN and of civil society. From Pakistan, Mrs. Spinoza will travel to Oman, where she will deliver a lecture at the National Defense College of Oman on multilateralism and the role of the GA in international peace and security. She will visit, visit actually the Omani Women Association and meet the country's foreign minister, His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah. All travel costs are being covered separately by the respective countries and by the regular budget of the PGA's office. As you know, the stakeout, unfortunately, uh, planned for 1 p.m., has been canceled due to the schedule constraints and the imminent travels that I just mentioned of the PGAs. Mrs. Espinosa will, however, hold a press conference here in the briefing room soon after she returns from Pakistan and Oman, and we will bring more uh, details to you nearer the time. And this morning, the PGA met with the Deputy Ambassador of Iran to the United Nations, His Excellency Ashag al-Habib. She later presided over the briefing that the Secretary General Antonio Guterres gave to member states on his priorities for 2019. We will bring you more details on her bilateral meetings during her travels to Pakistan and Oman here in our regular briefings. And this is all from us today. Do you have any questions? Stefano. Yes. Um, what is um, what? If, what would be the reaction of the president of the General Assembly if uh, several countries, actually many countries, start to recognize the president of the uh, National Assembly of Venezuela as the de facto president instead of Maduro? Yeah, the Rule number one for spokespeople, there is, there are no uh, hypotheticals, yeah? So we all know that. Okay, uh, can I rephrase then? How <laughs> does she see what's happening in, the, in those hours in Venezuela? Okay, uh, we talked about uh, Venezuela uh, here before, and um, of course it's not up to the, the president of the General Assembly uh, to recognize, uh, the, you know, heads of states and government. This is in, an internal issue, uh, but President Espinosa is following media reports on the situation in Venezuela. Her concern is about the people of Venezuela who are suffering the consequences of uh, the current situation, as we know. Mrs. Espinosa said before that uh, the people should be protected, protected as well as their rights. Uh, she recalls that the region is actually responding in, in, a, in a positive way, uh, collectively, uh, to the situation, uh, to the influx of uh, migrants, to they are moving to neighboring countries, but not only neighboring countries, countries, other countries in, in the region. And uh, she is uh, very supportive of the work of uh, the special joint special representative, uh, Mr. Eduardo Stein, uh, who is actually working with UNHCR and also IOM in, in that area. Yeah, thank you. Mr. Abadi. Thank you, Monica. Mm -hmm. The uh, president, as you mentioned, will soon uh, visit Pakistan mm -hmm. and Oman. What kind of background briefing did she have? Did she read any book or report on uh, Islamic Arab culture? Uh, the president uh, is uh, uh, very interested uh, 
um, personally uh, in, in other cultures, uh, she uh, has been, uh, you know, you know, you are aware that she's not anymore, she resigned uh, as the Minister of Foreign Affairs of her country, but uh, she uh, had the opportunity to be uh, to be in this position twice in two different governments. And uh, she herself is uh, uh, very uh, studious, uh, uh, interested in, in, in other cultures. Uh, of course, she has been, she's been briefed uh, uh, on, on both countries by uh, her team, but also by uh, advisors. Uh, as a matter of fact, one political advisor is uh, in this um, delegation to, to both countries. And uh, she's looking forward to uh, her interactions uh, with the authorities there, but also, also as she uh, makes a point in every single uh, trip to civil society. She is meeting with women, she's meeting with young people, and uh, she's looking forward to these interactions. I will be bringing every day, um, uh, as time uh, uh, permits, uh, the points, the bilateral meetings, the interactions that she will have, and I'll be bringing to you all the uh, the important uh, topics of this, uh, both trips. Yes. Okay, so I see you are very busy today. I thank you very much, and I see you tomorrow here at the same time. Thank you very much. Have a good afternoon, everybody.